Did Eddie Hearn deliberately mislead fans about the ease in which they could obtain a visa to attend the Joshua Ruiz rematch in Saudi Arabia? Now, I'm not saying that he did deliberately mislead him. I'm not saying he didn't. It's a question for you guys to answer. Because when the location of this fight was initially revealed, Eddie Hearn did several interviews in which he said that getting a visa couldn't be any easier. He said that when you buy a ticket, you'd automatically be issued a visa. He didn't mention any charges for the visa. He didn't mention filling out any additional forms, nothing like that. He made out as though it was just an automatic thing. You buy a ticket, you get a visa. Couldn't be more simple. But fast forward to this week and fans have apparently been coming out on social media saying that they've bought tickets and then found there's a sting in the tail that they've got a get the visa separately, and it's a £100 charge. Now, <laughs> if I was in that position, and imagine if I'd bought a plane ticket, which might be non-refundable, paid for a hotel, paid for a ticket for the fight, and then at the last minute find there's a £100 charge for the visa, I'd be pretty pissed off, truth be told, after hearing Eddie Hearn say, you know, that it was very straightforward. I mean, he didn't outright say there was no charge for the visa, as far as I'm aware. So he didn't lie about there being no charge, but he certainly didn't let people know that there was a charge for the visa, you know, and he really should have done. Was Eddie Hearn given inaccurate information? I don't know. But when he's been questioned about this visa issue this week, he's been passing the buck, which I don't like. He's been saying, oh, well, I don't handle the ticketing and all the visa stuff that's handled by uh, this other group, this other entity who is working with in Saudi Arabia. Nah, man. The British fans are looking to Eddie Hearn. That's who they're looking to, to give them information about how to attend this fight. So Eddie needs to do better than that. Yeah. Certain fans might have been misled. Certain fans might have gone above budget. A hundred pounds, of course, is far less than the cost of... Uh, the ticket to attend the fight, plane tickets and hotels and all that kind of stuff. But it's still not a small amount of money for a lot of people. So now, obviously people are going to ask me, well, why would Eddie Hearn deliberately, and I'm not saying he did deliberately mislead fans, but, you know, potentially, why would he, de why would he deliberately mislead fans? Well, simply to sell tickets. If he duped them into thinking that attending this fight would be easier than it actually is, he could get more people to buy tickets and you know help him fill out the arena sooner rather than later. I hope that's not the case, but to be honest with you, I wouldn't put it past him. I wouldn't put it past a lot of promoters to do something like that. But hey, maybe it was just an oversight on Eddie Hearn's behalf. Maybe he was just far too eager and excited to start talking before he knew all the relevant facts. But it really should be a lesson for the future for Eddie Hearn. <laughs> That's if he didn't do this deliberately. Uh, it should be a lesson for the future because this kind of thing will, over time, tarnish his reputation. And it will put fans off attending fights, particularly overseas, where they're not too familiar uh, with the, the country they're visiting. So, yeah, not a good look, Eddie, to be telling people when the uh, location was announced, oh, it's so easy to get a visa and no problem at all. And, you know, people were diving head first in and buying these tickets and then you don't even tell them. And you know, it, it, it would have at the very least been common courtesy for Eddie Hearn once he found out that there was a hundred pound charge for the visa to tell people. But no, he let people find out for themselves. And then, and then once they've all found out and they've got the shock and this sting in the tail, now he's trying to pass the buck to somebody else. No, nah, man. That's slimy behavior. You know, put your hands up, Eddie, and take some responsibility for this. Yeah? If you, you care about your company, the reputation of your company, then you need to be caring about things like this because you put information out there which didn't... I'm not, I'm not going to say it was false information because he didn't say that there wasn't a charge. <laughs> but, he, but you you know, he made out as though it was very, very easy to get the visa in again. I need clarification from anybody out there who's actually got a ticket for this fight. Do you automatically get issued a visa or do you have to fill out a separate form? 
Because from what I've been hearing and reading, you actually have to fill out a separate application to get a visa. You don't automatically get issued one. Now, perhaps they're not going to turn you down for your visa application if you tell them that you're attending the AJ Ruiz fight. Uh, but still, it, it's different than being automatically issued a visa, technically. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Has Eddie been a naughty boy here? Or has he just been a little uh, complacent, incompetent, maybe a bit of an oversight on his behalf? Or is he actually deliberately misleading fans? Let me know what you think, people. It's happening, I'm out.